The whole nation is mourning with these families. They see it every day on television. They're going through hell. And those who survived the collapse, as well as those who are missing loved ones. I realize I'm a little late because I spent a lot of time with the families, a whole lot of time. And I apologize for taking so long to get here because I thought it was important to speak to every single person who wanted to speak to me. Because I have, like many of you, do some idea what it's like to suffer that kind of loss. So many of them are suffering. You know, uh, they had basic heart-wrenching questions. Will I be able to recover the body of my son or daughter, my husband, my cousin, my mom and dad? How can I have closure without being able to bury them? If I don't get the body, what do I do? Jill and I wanted them to know that we're with them and the country's with them. Our message today is that we're here for you as one nation, as one nation. And that's the message we communicated. We'll be in touch with a lot of these families continuing through this process. It's bad enough to lose somebody. But the hard part, the really hard part, is to not know whether they're surviving or not, just not have any idea. When the accident took my wife and my family, the hardest part was, were my boys going to get out? Are they going to make it? 